What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Raven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Emerald walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we went through the fourth gym right here in Lava Ridge. And I said it right. Yes, finally. And, uh, yeah, we earned ourselves our first ba fourth badge. Now we are unable to go to the desert or go back to Petalburg City, I think, to take on our daddy. Yeah. First things first, guys, uh, there was a little thing that I forgot to show you guys, and that was, if you talk to this old lady right here, I have here an egg. I'd hope to hatch it by covering it in the hot sand by the hot springs, but that doesn't seem to be enough. I've heard it would be best if it were kept together with a Pokemon and carried about. You're a trainer, yes, and your Pokemon ra radiate vitality. So, what you say? Uh, will you take this egg? Sure, let's go right ahead and take this egg. Bam, we got ourselves a Poke Egg for the first time. Now, off screen, I did capture myself a Slugma. Why? Because of its ability, Flame Body. If you have a Pokemon with Flame Body and put it right next to the egg, it cuts its uh, steps in half in order to hatch. So what's going to happen right here, guys, is I'm going to try and hatch this egg right here in this episode. I'll be right back when we start hatching. Alrighty, guys, so it took me like about five minutes, but here it is, the hatching of the egg, and bam, there you go. We get ourselves a why not? The pre-evolution of, uh, you know, Wobbuffet right here. So, I'm gonna skip forward to Lava Ridge. You guys are gonna need to see this one right here, so I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty, guys, so here we are back in Lava Ridge, and... Uh, well, you guys have waited for it very patiently. Yes, we have added both Dalsim and Hadouken back to the team. And, uh, well, we are going to be going straight to the desert right at Route 111. And, well, let's see, we got Brooke calling us, telling us that, you know, we need to, uh, we need to battle again. And, you know what? Screw this. Let's see this. When should these guys... When should these guys start indicating to us that they want to battle us? Because usually you get a Pokeball sign, and nobody is indicating they want to battle, so that's kind of weird. Now, before you leave, go ahead and grab this. You'll find yourself a nugget, which can be useful for money. And, uh, well, let's go right ahead and continue on our adventure right here into Route 111. Now, early on... We could not go through this whole area right here. And yes, there was a castle laying around here. And I do believe that it takes about uh, quite a few times to actually get over here to, to find that castle. So what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to be battling uh, all these trainers right here. And then after that, we are going to, you know, battle. We're going to go into the castles and all that stuff just to just to actually grab a few things that we need to grab. So what needs to happen is we need to get away from this guy. And put on some repels. And let's see. Let's see. Repels. There we go. Okay. And let's go right ahead and start using our different Pokemon right here because, well, yeah, I mean, that's the reason why we brought them. So let's go right ahead and bring out Hadouken first and grab this. We found ourselves a Stardust, also a great item to, to actually uh, make some more money. This guy here is like, there should be a tower made of sand around here somewhere, but for some reason it can only be seen sometimes and sometimes not. That's why it is called the Mirage Tower, which, of course, we will be heading on over there. And usually you'll find some uh, fossils right around this area, but they switched it. They did. Plus, there are Pokemon here you can actually capture too, you know, pretty good ones. Alright, so here we go, taking on Camper Drew, and he is coming out with his Sandshrew, so let's go with Hadouken. One thing you guys need to understand is that it is a sand there is a sandstorm here. If you don't have a ground type Pokemon, or a rock type, or a steel type, yes, you are gonna get hit quite a few times. This is why we're speeding up many of our things here, because, well, yeah, it gets kind it gets quite annoying. And of course Hadouken wins. Its, its recoil effect does not work on this in this area right here, so let's see. Let's go ahead and battle this guy, wearing Go-Go's go goggles make me feel like a superhero. Kind of feels like nobody can defeat him, which is kind of funny. Alright, so here we go, taking on Camper Boo. And he is coming out with his ball toy. Now this Pokemon, I've had, I've had thoughts of capturing it, because it is a pretty good Pokemon to actually have on your team when used correctly. It is both ground and psychic type, and, uh, yeah. It is a tank when it comes to, uh, when, when it comes to both, uh, physical and special defense right there, so. 
There we go. We have defeated Boo. We obviously did not Bow leave and all that crud. And, uh, well, let's see. Let's go ahead and go with the Repel. This is going to be tough once we start battling some trainers with, like, or once we run out of uh, Repels. I think we still have one more Super Repel with us. Alrighty, so here we go. Taking on Picnicker Heidi. And she is coming out with a Sand Shrew. So Hadouken, let's go. And let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here. This is a dig. And that missed. So let's go with the Water Gun. And here comes a Boltoy. So let's go with Dulcim. Let's give him a little love. As we remember, Dulcim, his hidden power is good against... Uh... Oh wow, Sage grew to level 32. Dulcim's power... Hidden Power was good against Grass-type, and as you guys can see, Psychic and Ground, it's either one of them. I don't know. And, well, let's see. We found ourselves a Rare Candy. Very good item. Let's go ahead. I heard there are fossils to be found in the, in the desert. Where can they be? I don't know. I really don't know. So, let's go right ahead and take on Picnic or Becky, and... She's coming with her Sandshrew again. That seems to be the, the leading Pokemon. Let's go ahead and switch out yet again because we are strategic like that. And there we go. Coming out with the Meryl. Let's go with Venom right here. And Sludge Attack. There we go. And just like that, we have defeated Becky. Not Becky Lynch. I guess she wasn't the man of this. And, well, let's see. Let's go ahead and battle this guy. For 30 years, I have searched for ancient ruins. I am to be challenged. Well, kinda. Alrighty. Here we go, taking on a Ruin Maniac Dusty, and he's coming out with his Sand Slash right here. Holy crud. Okay, so these guys are bringing it when it comes to these Pokemon, and well, let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Let's go with Sage and Leaf Blade. There we go. Just like that. And well, he's gonna be giving us a, his Pokenab number right there, which is always great. And always make sure to check these rocks right here, guys, because you'll, yeah, you'll probably be able to actually find some uh, good items. And, well, let's see. Let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Let's go Dulcim and Hadouken, see if they can actually put up a fight against these guys. How tough are you? We shall expose that secret. Oh, damn. I'll give you some, uh, some of my sandwich if you lose. That doesn't make any sense. It really doesn't. Okay, so here we go. Ruin Maniac Brian and Camper Braden wants the battle. And, well, we're going to be going straight for the battle right here. And Hidden Power. And I guess it's Ground-type Pokemon that it's effective against. And, well, let's see. Let's go straight for an Ember attack for this guy. Hidden Power on this guy. Let's see. There we go again. These guys are fighting pretty well together. And Dalsim grows to level 30 first level it's grown in this version right here and well Hadouken is still growing look at that okay so let's see there is a ruin right here but I kind of want to switch my Pokemon let's go with Vesuvius and let's see what we got I shouldn't have come to a place like this for a picnic yeah it's probably not the best place at all so here we go taking on a uh, picnicker, his name is Celia, and well, let's go right ahead and switch out right here. Go with Sage, that way we don't get beat, and then continue on. We got Fury Cutter, and of course, this guy has Earthquake. Holy crud! And Sage grows to level 33, which is kind of funny because it's like, wow. <laughs> Alrighty. So our re our repel has worn off right here. Actually, why did I press the B button right here? So hold on, just a sec, guys. Uh, repel, repel, repel. There's Stardust. Okay, here we go. We got his one more super repel right here. Should probably stock up on that. Now, as you guys can see, this will be of an importance later on into our walkthrough. I'm currently dreading the moment when I have to go in there. And here we found ourselves a TM37 Sandstorm, which can actually be useful for any kind of ground type Pokemon or rock or steel type Pokemon. And it looks like to me that I've already defeated everybody here. So the next thing we have to do is we have to get the Mirage Tower up and running right here. So I'll be right back with you guys once we get the Mirage Tower. Alrighty guys, it took me like three tries, but we found ourselves the Mirage Tower. And one thing that you need here in the Mirage Tower is the Mock Bike. 
Why? Because there are going to be cracks on the floors, and those cracks, as many of you guys already know, they're the bane of our existence. And would you look at that? There is a trampage, and yes, we got away safely. We're going to be meeting up a lot of trampage, and well, let's go straight up here. Now, the thing that I'm talking about, the cracks that I'm talking about are these. You need a mock bike in order to get by these whole areas, and obviously, we don't go through. So you have to be very, very, very specific with how you move on the D-pad, and well, we're going to be take, taking on another tramp bitch right here. Obviously, we're going to be speeding through this whole thing, and let's see, I got to be easy with this. God dang it. Okay. See, this is the reason why I do not like... I, I, I'm dreading the whole sky pillar and everything, and I'm glad that they actually took away the took away the cracks on the floors in the upgraded version of the Pokemon games because crud. Yeah, okay, so... Oh my god. Yeah, we're gonna be spending some time in here. <laughs> oh my lord. Again, oh, he doesn't want me to leave, so let's go with the magnitude and there we go. So yeah, we're gonna be doing a lot right here, guys, so let's see. So you need some space to actually uh, tune up your bike. So just be aware of that, and... Damn it! Okay, so I'm gonna speed through to where I get to the next portion right here, guys. Okay, there we go. Did it in the first try, and we're getting attacked again by another Pokemon right here, which is always great. Like Tony the Tiger. Great! And we're taking on a Trampage right here. I need to run away, so let's see. Gotta get off our bike right here. So, here we are in the next level. As you guys can see, this place is merciless when it comes to being uh, getting away from this whole area. So, let's see. Wow. Okay, so... <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Why did I put my zigzag good away? Jeebus, criminy. Okay, uh, let's see. Is there a Pokemon that can learn Rock Smash that won't be needed later, and it looks like to me... Balls, okay. Ugh. We're gonna have to go with Dulcine for... Eh, you know what, screw it. I, I, I kinda wanna, I don't wanna teach it. I don't wanna teach it Rock Smash. Uh, I don't, I don't, it's uh, no. You know what, let's take the long way. That's what she said, but you know what, let's take the long way. Oh god, you gotta love these god dang trampage. And you know, I could have caught that trampage, you know that. Okay, so you got two ways. Oh wow. Oh, bucket. Okay, so yeah. <laughs> you can't get through here without without the rock smash. Okay. So I have no choice but to teach it. Teach somebody this. You know what? I'm gonna give it to Venom. And Let's go right ahead and take away its pound attack, okay? Venom, of course, might not be on our team very long because I might switch it out with some other Pokemon that I may need. And, of course, getting attacked by another Pokemon right here. And, god dang Trampage. Alright. So, before we do anything, there's nothing right there. And we're gonna speed through this whole, you know... Yeah, okay, so... Damn it. Okay, go away. So, as you guys can see, there are two fossils right here in the Mirage Tower. And this... God dang it. So, two fossils, Mirage Tower. There's something about this that you need to know. If you choose one, you will still get the other in a later due time, alright? So, what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to go with... Uh, let's see, there's the Root Fossil. Hmm. The Root Fossil. You know what? I'm always been, I've always been a big fan of the Claw Fossil, so I'm gonna get the Claw Fossil first. The Root Fossil will be going down into the, the underground, but eventually you will be able to find it. As you guys can see, you grab one of those fossils, and... There you go. The Mirage Tower is no more. And there is the last fossil, and... The root fossil disappeared into the sand. Eventually, you will be able to get the other fossil at a later time. Okay! Alrighty, so... That has been that of the desert. Holy crud. That, is, that has been an adventure right there, guys. So, in our next episode, 
I want to say we're going to be going back home. Maybe. Back home. I don't even know. We're going to be going back home, and we're going to be taking on our father. And uh, we're going to wait and see what happens right there, because I, I'm pretty darn sure our dad's going to be a little stronger than us. So, thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys again for being patient, as always. If you guys want to leave a small donation to this channel, our button's right there, down below. I will be back for another episode of our Pokemon Emerald walkthrough. See you guys.